MIG electrodes are usually made of a steel wire that is covered with copper. The copper protects the steel from oxidizing or rusting. MIG electrode wire is wound on a reel. The electrode, which is consumed by the welding process, conducts welding current to the work and adds metal to the weld pool. There are many different types of electrode wire available for MIG welding. The one that's used depends on several factors associated with the particular welding job. And, as with any electrode, it's important to store and handle the electrode wire properly. After you open a new package of MIG electrode wire, it should be used quickly to help keep it from rusting or getting dirty. If the electrode wire can't be used quickly, putting the reel back in its package and storing it in a dry environment will help protect it. The MIG welding method uses a wire feeder to send electrode wire to the welding gun. The rate that electrode wire is fed through the wire feeder can be adjusted by the welder. There are several modes of transferring metal to the weld pool when MIG welding is being performed. The determination of which transfer mode to use is based on many factors. Two very common transfer modes are the short circuit mode and the spray mode. The short circuit mode gets its name from the electrode wire actually short circuiting or touching the base metal many times per second. During welding, when the electrode wire touches the metal, current flows through the wire and the base metal. There is no arc because there is no air gap. The end of the electrode melts and is deposited in the weld pool. As more electrode wire is fed through the gun, the wire makes contact again. The spray mode and its variations spray a stream of tiny droplets of the melted electrode wire across the arc. The droplets are usually of smaller diameter than the electrode wire itself. This mode deposits a relatively large amount of filler metal quickly, but it does require a large shield. In MIG welding, a gas shield is used to protect the weld zone. The most common shield gas used during MIG welding is carbon dioxide. Sometimes a mixture of carbon dioxide and argon is used. The specific gas used depends on the type of metal to be welded or the manner in which metal is transferred between the electrode and the weld pool. Well, in this part, we describe the equipment that is used to perform gas metal arc welding. We saw that the consumable electrode is supplied from a reel and that there are several ways of transferring metal from the electrode to the weld pool. Now would be a good time to check your understanding of gas metal arc welding. In this topic, we went over three common methods of performing arc welding. Shielded metal arc welding, gas tungsten arc welding, and gas metal arc welding. Now would be a good time to try some practice questions on this material.